Hey, welcome to Red Light Therapy News for the month of April. In this video, we have new products, new articles, new slides, and a video of mine that you may have missed, and I think you should check out. More on that later. So let's take a look at the new products. First up, we have Mito Red Light. They've got a couple new products, including their new quad belt, which is their Red Light Therapy belt. that now utilizes both 630, 810, plus the traditional 660 and 850 nanometer light which is a good change. They've also released their Mito Mobile Super. Now this is a handheld battery powered device and it's got some pretty neat features in it. I call it more of a smart device. Uh, it may be a little bit gimmicky, I'm not too sure, but looks pretty cool. I will make sure I get my hands on one so I can do a full review. Be sure to subscribe for that. Finally, Mito Red Light have two helmets. One of these actually uses lasers. These have been designed for hair regrowth. I actually spoke to the CEO of Mito Red Light about these helmets in my interview. I'll put links to that interview plus all of these products I've mentioned below. Also, if there are any products you wanna purchase, be sure to use discount code Alex. It does support this channel. Huga Health have come out with a new skincare wand. This wand uses red light therapy as well as heat therapy, massage, and microcurrent. Red Therapy Co have slightly tweaked their large pulsed body panel. This new panel comes with 280 LEDs. And I'm thinking this might be a good panel to include in my body panel comparison series at the end of the year. Next, we have Nova Lab with their Nova Oral Care Pro dental device. This device uses both red light and blue light for dental health. It's something I'm keen to get myself and I will play around with it and put out a video. Platinum LED lights have released their Saunamax Pro. I have done a first look video on this. It's quite an interesting device. It's a red light therapy panel that is waterproof, so it can be used in a sauna. Also, I can now say with 100% certainty that all Biomax panels will now ship with a switch to disable the blue LEDs if you don't want that. Finally, there's a company called Chroma who have been putting out some rather high-end, high-powered red light therapy devices over the years. They've got an excellent newsletter and I highly recommend jumping on their list. Anyway, they've just announced that they're working on what they're calling their Chroma Chamber. It's pre-order only at the moment. It's going to cost around $20,000, but this is a walk-in booth with 30 of their Iron Forge red light therapy devices. These devices are extremely high-powered and the idea with this chamber is it will allow a full-body treatment session in a few minutes. Next, we'll look at new content. First up, we have Scott Kennedy, founder of LightPath LED. He's put out a video explaining the benefits of his new diesel red light therapy range. Huga Health have put out a blog looking at red light therapy and how it helps with stress and meditation. Finally, Mito Red Light have actually put out a really nice before and after red light therapy blog looking at the visual differences that red light therapy has made on a bunch of people. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button below. It really does help me. The metrics show me what I should focus on, where I should spend my time and energy, and it helps grow this channel, which of course means more content for you guys. So yeah, I really do appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe. This month's study looks at 96 people who had their molar teeth extracted, the teeth right at the back of your mouth. The study was interesting where they used 810 nanometer light, really high dose for a short period of time on one side of the mouth, not both. And what they found is, yeah, those that had the treatment on that side actually had less pain and less issues later on, better recovery and all that good stuff. It's not surprising, but what is fascinating is the use of 810 nanometer light. That wavelength is something we've taken a deep dive on and expect to see some great blog articles and videos coming out here soon. This month's question is around the use of belts and mats and how they compare to panels. So we're seeing more and more of these belts and mats hitting the market now. So how does it compare to a traditional panel? Well, the panels are putting out a lot more power. They're a lot larger, they're heavy, they got fans in them, heat sinks, because again, they are emitting a ton of power. Mats on the other hand, you are literally laying on them while putting them up against the skin. The power output is a lot less when compared to a panel, but because you're using it so close to the body, it's not as big of an issue as some make out. I'd have to test the devices myself and crunch some numbers to see how it compares you know whether 10 minutes lying on the mat is the equivalent of 10 minutes standing six inches from a panel i'm not too sure yet i'd say that you're still going to get a lot more power from a panel just knowing how powerful they are today but the mats do serve a purpose if you would much rather lie down when you're doing your red light therapy but you can't afford the stands and a bunch of panels then a mat could be quite attractive. I've only used a few products that have been directly on the skin. And what I noticed though, is you get a bit sweaty. There's a bit of moisture buildup. Personally, I don't really like that. 
But again, it's something I need to test more. So be sure to subscribe if there is a particular mat you want me to test. Leave it in the comments below and I'll look into it. Okay, so if you missed last month's video, I did say that this channel is now going to be focused on red light therapy. The goal is to put out three pieces of content, three videos a week, plus some deep dive articles on the blog. So there has been a lot that's hit the channel. I'm going to run through some of the most popular videos in case you've missed them. They are the, the Biomax 300 review and also the Mito Red Mito Adapt review. I've also done some head to heads on them. Check them out, links are below. We have a video on parabolic technology and how LEDs are quite interesting when you actually look at them from the spectrometer. It's really neat. It's a short video worth checking out if you missed that one. We have my video on pulsing. Again, great if, you, if you're keen to learn more about this. Finally, we have the hour long interview I did with Scott, which is something I highly recommend checking out if you're keen to learn more about red light therapy. What's coming up? Well, I've got heaps of great content, including a look at how expensive red light therapy panels are to run. We've got my review of the Neuronic 1070 helmet plus an interview with the CEO of this company. We've also got videos on red light therapy for sports performance and a good look at blue light and its new incorporation into the world of red light therapy products. So be sure to hit subscribe to be notified of those videos. In the meantime, I highly recommend checking out this video. This was the follow-up video I did after taking four weeks off from using red light therapy. I reincorporated it back into my routine. The insights I cover in this video are very intriguing.